In a moment that feels pulled straight from the pages of a science fiction novel, 19-year-old Tilly Lockie is turning heads and turning perceptions on their axis as she debuts the world's most advanced bionic hands that can literally crawl away on their own. A rising social media influencer and lifelong amputee, Tilly has become the face of futuristic prosthetics and her latest tech from UK-based company Open Bionics is breaking new ground in the most unexpected ways. So as you can see, it's just really, really responsive, super fast, super strong, to the point where like I'm not used to being that strong yet. And when I first put them on and like tried to pick something up, I was like crushing everything because they're hella strong. And these aren't even the strongest ones. They've also launched the Hero Rugged, which is like the even stronger, faster arm. So as you can imagine, it's pretty crazy, all while keeping it like lightweight, lighter than you know, other ones on the market. Tilly, who lost both of her hands as a baby after contracting meningitis septicemia, has worked with Open Bionics for nearly a decade. So I had meningitis septicemia when I was a baby and if ever, anyone doesn't know what that is, it's a pretty fatal disease and initially I was literally told that I was going to die, like I was given 0% chance of survival, but obviously I'm here today and it was after one week in intensive care, three weeks in recovery, a secondary infection and 10 blood transfusions that somehow we got the good news that I was getting better. When the doctors came in and said, listen, she's getting better, but we are going to have to amputate her hands. Like anybody hearing that must think that is crazy and like devastating. Like it's a life altering, body altering operation. It's going to change everything from this point onwards. So I can only imagine what it must have been like for my family and my parents and that sort of thing. I think when I was do like dealing with it all, obviously I was so young, like I can't really remember anything that happened but I do know that I was like really stubbornly determined and wanted to be as independent as possible. Now she's one of the first users to test drive their latest innovation, the Hero Pro and Hero RGD bionic arms. These aren't just prosthetics, they're state-of-the-art, wireless controlled, 3D printed robotic limbs designed to empower amputees with unprecedented strength, speed, and functionality. <laughs> so these prosthetics are completely like muscle operated. There's no sort of like invasive chip or anything like that, contrary to popular belief. It's literally, you just stick it on and there's these two sensors, which we call myopods. So there's got one on the inside and one on the outside. You just pop them in. And what they're doing is tracking my muscle movements of my organic remaining limb. So all I'm doing is literally two movements. You've got squeeze the muscles to close, which you can kind of see what I'm doing here, and then flex to open. And from that point onwards, it kind of works like a menu system. The most shocking part, her hand doesn't even need to be attached to the rest of the arm to work. You can just unplug the hand and then clench the same muscle, and the hand can crawl away like it's got a mind of its own, Tilly explained, visibly excited by the possibilities. The moment caught on camera has already gone viral. But also one thing which has taken the internet by storm is the fact that they are completely wireless. So if you push the button in, you can actually like detach the hand, which is really weird. So I could just pull it out like that, but I can still operate it when it's not attached. So I can like move it around even when it's not attached to the arm. And that's just the same muscle sensors, same way I'd move it as if it were attached, but it doesn't even need to be attached. It could just go on its own missions, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> so I'm literally operating it exactly the same way as if it was attached, but you can just unplug the hand and then clench in that same muscle. I just squeeze to close, flex to open, 
The hand can crawl away like it's got a mind of its own. For Tilly, the advancement isn't just a technological win, it's deeply personal. Like hearing people being like proud to show off that difference now rather than having to like hide it away. Um, I feel like that's a thing that all them different people go through, you know, where you start to roll the sleeves down and things like that. But with this technology, it's like people want to show it off for the first time. And I think that's amazing. And like, they're my favorite stories, you know, people wanting to go out in the summertime and wear the little t-shirts and roll those sleeves up and like little kids getting like Elsa inspired arms and, you know, all their friends at school being excited about it and them being excited about it. That's what it's all about. For Tilly, that pride is everything. She remembers how it once felt to be different, to want to hide her arms. Now she's helping lead a revolution that's changing how the world sees disability and difference. Hearing people being proud to show off that difference now, rather than having to hide it away. That's what it's all about, she said, her voice filled with conviction. Little kids are getting Elsa-inspired arms. They're excited to go to school and show them off. That kind of joy is what makes this all worth it. From brushing her hair to applying makeup, pouring drinks, and confidently walking through the streets of Bath, Tilly showcases just how seamlessly these bionic arms are blending into everyday life. What was once science fiction is now a wearable, living reality. And thanks to trailblazers like Tilly Lockie and the innovators at Open Bionics, the future of prosthetics isn't just functional. It's empowering, beautiful, and sometimes even a little wild. After all, when your hand can crawl away on its own, anything feels possible.